if I could describe this book with one word, I would describe it as inspirational. Leadership. Powerful. Exceptional. Influence would be the word. I find it inspirational because as a young man coming from an urban community, I seen a lot of the things that he was describing in his book. And it touched a chord with me because it said that I'm only limited by myself and what I'm willing to achieve. We've all been in that situation where you look at someone else's life and it's like, if only I had those opportunities, if I only I had those chances. I think he's exceptional, you know, from what he's been through to where he's at right now. What you find out through the book is um, Wes, the author, becomes a leader when he's forced to become a leader, when he goes away to school and people are demanding more of him. And um, but the lack of leadership in the other Wes's life and the lack of leadership he exhibited, that's kind of what felt like contributed to his fall. I think anybody can relate to this book because it's a human story of how you came from a struggle to success. The struggle is real, you know, it's, it's not, it's, it's no lie. You know. What he goes through is real and I'm pretty sure he's not the only one. What I liked most about the book were a few things. I liked the style, I liked how it was very conversational, I wasn't expecting that from a Rhodes Scholar. A theme that stood out to me is kind of like how he ended the book in the last couple pages with a poem from Ernest Hemingway. And the last line is that you're the captain of your own soul, which means you're in control of what you're doing with your life. Nobody else is. If you hear him speak and if people have a chance to hear him speak, it talks about life and circumstances. What do you do with your chances? If you are given a second chance, do you squander it or do you take advantage of it? If you have somebody there who's like, who's here to like guide you, not so far as tell you exactly what to do, but more guide you along the lines of what you want to do with your life. Like, it really does help you. I really think people really need to read this book to get a better understanding that despite your situation, your circumstances, you can make a difference in your own life. I think, I think the book is actually like a, a mentor in paper form. Um, I think it's great for anybody that reads it. Like, you don't have to have a physical person there. Just reading that book can actually set somebody straight. There's a million other people who have similar stories and they're, they're walking among us right now. They could be in this school and we could learn from them just as easily as we learn from his book. That's one of the things also that Westmore tells us in this book. It's like, it doesn't matter where you started at, it's where you're gonna end up. And can you see that ending? Can you visualize it enough to want it and be hungry for it and stay hungry for it and then give back?